Good day, good people. I am Phaedra Dion, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the SVG Tubes YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about Adobe Express and how you can use it to turn non-SVG files into SVGs. Now, the main purpose of SGV Tubes is to teach you how to make your own SVGs, but that is not always practical or expedient or even necessary. So what do you do if you find a JPEG or a PNG on the web and you want to convert it to an SVG so you can use it in a project? Say you want to put it on a, a t-shirt or a koozie or on an outdoor flag or something like that. Well, when it's in a JPEG or PNG format, it is going to be in pixels, which means that you might not be able to make it as big as you like, and or you may not even be able to make it as small as you like and keep it from having artifacts or distorting. So I found this site called Clip Art Library, and I'll put the link in the description so you can get to it quickly. Um, and I'm looking for a butterfly. So I'm going to go here to butterfly clip art. And they tell you that the clip art is, is free, is not for commercial use. In other cases, add a link to our website. So if you use this, um, they want you to give them attribution. And I'm going to do that by putting their link in the description of my video. I like this butterfly here. Say I want that and I want to be able to put it on an, an extra large t-shirt. And I see here that it's a JPEG. The resolution is 920 by 1080, but the side, the dimensions are only 500 by 494. And that is not going to work for, for me. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this. And another cool thing about the clip art library is you don't need an account. So I'm going to click on download and I'll just save this to my personal storage. And it says butterfly clip art too. I'll just leave it at that name and save it. And then I'll go over to Adobe Express. It says our free plan includes thousands of unique templates, design assets, blah, 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 blah. If you use Canva, then you'll be familiar with how to use Adobe Express. It is similar and probably Adobe's answer to Canva. They do have a paid option, which is $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year, but we're just going to do the free option and you can look through here and I'll put the link for the pricing in the description also. And you can just look and see what you get for free. If you need more, then pay for it. But if you don't, then don't pay for it. Okay, so we have this butterfly clip art and I'm going to go up here and sign in. You, it is free, but you have to have an account. They want your contact information. So I'm going to go sign in. I have an Adobe account because I use their other products. So I'll just log in here and put in my email from my password manager and it's my personal account. So now I'm in and I'm going to go down here to quick actions and I'm going to go to quick actions for images because what I want to do is I want to convert this JPEG to a SVG. So let me see if I can just open this up. Yeah, there we go. So I'm open, I opened it up in photo in uh, Microsoft Windows. And I'm going to use my magnifying glass to make it bigger, 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 bigger. And as you can see, it is starting to blur and you're starting to see the boxes that make the image. So that doesn't work for me. I probably won't need it that big for my t-shirt, but maybe I want it like that and it's just not crisp. All right. So that's why we're doing this thing where we convert it to an SVG. So I'm going to click on convert to SVG and it's going to say drag or browse. 
So I am going to go to my file explorer and it was the last thing that I added. So it's the first thing in my recent files and quick access. So I'm just going to drag it over from there. Then it's going to work its magic. And now I can download it. It says it's an SVG. Notice though, it looks like I have lost a little something here in the antennae. So let's see what that looks like once I download it and open it in photos. Okay, notice that it opens it up in my browser because SVGs are based on code. That is why they open them in a browser. So here I lost some information by using this technique, but I can make this bigger and bigger and bigger and it will still stay crisp based on the information that's there. So let's look at this pink part compared to this pink part right here. I mean, you can see that it is, there's more to it in the SVG than there is in the JPEG. So it's not perfect, but let me just say the reason we didn't get some of the information here in the image is because we were working with a small image in the first place. So maybe if this had been double its size, we would have got a better conversion. So if you notice here, Adobe Express is not on my banner. I did say in more because I figured I would come across other programs to try out. And I wanted to try out Adobe Express because I stumbled on it. I didn't even know um, that it existed before I stumbled on it. And so I was like, well, you know, let me, let me run it and see what happens. I wanted to back up a little bit and talk about information. I said that we started out with a small image and so we didn't have enough information. We only have so many dots in a JPEG and a PNG. There's only so many dots. So there's only so much information in those spaces. And what happened essentially when we converted this, I mean, cause this is a tiny file, it's kilobytes, not megabytes. If we'd started with megabytes, we would have had more information more pixels, more dots. That's what I mean when I say information. And so it's possible that we would have gotten a better conversion. It's good that you know about Adobe Express and how it works. It may not work, may not have worked for this project, but it may work for other projects. One of the things you may have noticed is we didn't get a bunch of choices once we used their conversion tool. We uploaded, it did its thing, and then it said download. So we didn't have the ability to tweak things. That might be a limitation of the free version. In the paid version, you may be able to do that. Just know what you're getting yourself into when you use these tools. I did this one, which started out looking like this, and its file size is only 50 kilobytes. And it's about the same dimension as this one and it's resolution. Oh, this says my resolution. I'm sorry. It says your current resolution. It's telling me this is the resolution of my computer screen. Not that this is the resolution of the JPEG. So when I did the conversion for this, it took out all the color. Be mindful of that. The smaller your image is, the less likely in free tools like this, you're going to be able to get it to convert it and have all the information. Now we do have something we can work with, but it's not the most ideal because I really wanted my antennae. This one that converted without the color is good. Is a good outline for me to, you know, put my own color in, but what if I needed that color and notice here it got cut off. So it's not the perfect, example or experiment, but it is an experiment that lets us know how this tool operates. And so I wanted to go ahead and post the video for that reason alone. You know some new information, if you didn't know it already, about how these tools 
convert things and why smaller images may not convert as well as bigger images. So if you have questions, leave me some comments. If you have concerns, leave me some comments. If you have comments, leave me some comments. Um, and I did want to mention that on Thursday, the 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be doing a live Zoom. And you are invited. All you have to do is go to my site and put your contact information in and about 12 hours before the Zoom starts, I'll send you the link. You'll be able to ask questions. You'll be able to follow along and it doesn't cost anything. And we're gonna be making a 3D box with a flip over lid. So we're gonna be doing that in Cricut Design Space, which is free and uh, hope that you will join me. Thank you so much for watching.